We've done weddings, funerals. We've had chickens in here, writer series, Swing Shift in the Stars, Film Festival uses this building during the summer. We do a little bit of everything. The Opera House was conceived by um, three sisters who were married to three local businessmen. And their goal was to have a place, a community gathering place, where people could go, they could see shows, they could meet up with other people, have rental events, community events, things like that. So in April of 1891, the construction began, and a mere 10 months later, this place opened on February 4th, 1892. It was then shuttered, and then in 1972, it got put on the National Historical Register. And in 1980, uh, it was gifted to the city by the Voturba family, and a dedicated group of community people started the efforts to bring it back to life. So after an $8.5 million campaign, it reopened in 2005. The Opera House is unique in that it's about 45,000 square feet. You enter it off of Front Street, but the auditorium itself is on the second and third floor. And we seat 686 people. The City Opera House itself programs a series, a performing arts series of national touring acts. And then we have this Live at the Opera House. Those are concerts that route on a shorter time frame. We've had Wynton Marcellus here with his 20-piece jazz orchestra on this stage. We've had Lily Tomlin. We've had Louis Black. We've had um, a show called The Aluminum Show which was pretty cool. Just a little bit of everything, and that's, that's what I like. I like to see people leave here buzzing about what they just saw, and I like to invite people to just step out of their comfort zone and come see something they wouldn't normally come see, because I don't think they're gonna be disappointed.